Good morning, everyone. EB, the original master. And today I have another Super Mario Odyssey update for you guys today on Friday, August 4th. So today I'm here to discuss about Super Mario Odyssey. And um, I was actually going through the game this morning on Google. And it appears that this game, Super Mario Odyssey, is the first, I repeat, the first main series Mario game with an ESRB rating of E10+. So there's there are, so far I found two articles for, about this and I don't understand why people thought that it was okay to make an article about this. So let's talk about the ESRB rating for example. So um usually Mario games are rated E, ages 6 and up. But um there is something about this game that makes it a lot more mature than your average Mario game. So here is what I think the reasons why Super Mario Odyssey is an E10 rated game. Well, for starters, there is no game over screen, meaning that if you lose lives in this game, you will not get a game over. In fact, you will lose some of your coins that you collected in the game. So I think that's a reason why this game is rated E10 is to, to upgrade the difficulty, I believe. But yeah, um, another reason why I think this game is ready E10 is the capture mechanic feature. And when I saw the capture mechanic feature, I was like, how is this game ready E10 if you got Mario throwing Cappy at these objects and allowing him to turn into those objects? I'm not sure. And um, another reason why um, someone might think this game is ready E10 is because of the, of the characters in New Donk City. Well, you have to be honest, in Super Mario Galaxy, that game was rated E for everyone, and they gave Rosalina boobs. So, how does that game get an E rating, but Odyssey gets an E10 rating? I don't honestly don't know. Because Pauline, she has boobs, and that, and, and, and the Mario and Donkey Kong series games, those games are rated E. So, how come those games get an E rating, but Super Mario Odyssey gets an E10 rating? I just don't understand that. I mean, was it was there an error in the ESRB discussions? I mean, who who comes up with the ratings for these games? Um, does Nintendo comes up with the ratings? No, I think the ESRB people comes up with the ratings because I honestly don't know why Super Mario Odyssey is rated E10. I mean, I thought this game was going to be rated E, but it's E10 all of a sudden. Is it because there's something in the game that makes it mature for kids ages 10 and up? Is it because of the capture mechanic? Is it because of the realistic character models, I guess? I honestly don't know. I don't know why Super Mario Odyssey got an E10 rating, but, that, but that's not going to stop me from enjoying this game. I mean, who cares? I mean, little kids who who are probably under the age of 10 will probably might end up getting this game because it's Super Mario. Super Mario isn't that violent of a game. It's actually a game targeting for kids of all ages. I don't understand why kids will not be able to get this game. And the fact that they're making articles about this, that's ridiculous. The fact that this game, Super Mario Odyssey, is getting an E10 rating for it to have articles spreading all over the internet. But yeah, those are my possible thoughts about why Super Mario Odyssey is getting an E10 rating. But I honestly don't know why that's going to stop people from getting the game. I mean, I honestly don't care about the ratings. Because Super Mario Odyssey looks like an amazing game. It is going to be an amazing game. And the fact that I see everything going on in the game, it looks like it should be a fun game. But for the Galaxy games to be ready E, that's kind of weird. But yeah, that's all I have to say to you guys. Those are my thoughts about Super Mario Odyssey getting an E10 rating instead of, the, instead of the traditional E rating like the other mainstream Mario games like Super Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 3D Land, 3D World. And according to that, and according to one of the articles that I read, um, the, originally the E rating was actually kids to adults. So basically that was actually the original ESRB rating for rating E for everyone until they changed it to E. Cause when Super Mario 64 came out, that game was rated kids to adults or KA. And then they changed it to E for everyone for ages six and up. Well, I hope this ESRB rating doesn't affect people from getting the game though. 
But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this quick announcement about Super Mario Odyssey getting an E10 rating, and I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.